In spring 2024, Vendor Self Service, also known as VSS, will have a new streamlined user experience with the launch of Sigma 4. After Go Live, you will notice a more efficient and intuitive user interface, as well as new functionality to support you. Whether you are an individual payee, a grantee, or a business working with the state, you should watch this short video to get used to the new look and feel of Sigma 4 VSS. After the upgrade, you can access VSS the same way you do now. Simply type michigan.gov forward slash Sigma VSS into your preferred web browser, then click the Go to Sigma VSS link to log in. Here is the new login page for Sigma VSS. This new carousel provides lots of valuable information and handy links. For example, here you can register your account, view latest announcements, download relevant forms, and by clicking through the arrows, you can use your guest access to peek at published solicitations before you even log in. Above the carousel, you can find help desk information, and of course, you can sign in. Let's dive in. After logging in, you will see the home page. Sigma 4's home page is equipped with multiple ways to navigate the system. The first things you may notice on the home page are the colorful tiles in the middle of the screen. These are called quick links. Click a quick link to take a shortcut to any of the most commonly used transactions and pages, including my responses, scheduled payments, checks slash EFTs to learn of payments received, and business opportunities to view published solicitations. Unless you are a company, school, or another organization seeking business or grant opportunities from the state, you may not need to use all of these quick links. If you are an individual payee receiving money from the state, it's possible you only use scheduled payments or check slash EFTs quick links. Below the quick links are boxes called widgets. These dynamic boxes show current information, including your account summary, announcements, financial balance overview, your watch list, bids or grants that match your commodities, and your activity. Within the Account Summary widget, click My Account. Here is where you can view all account information. Scroll down and expand or collapse different sections to review things like your 1099 information or to update your banking information. You can also move through the tabs at the top to update addresses and contacts, to add users, to add or delete commodities, for both solicitations and grants. You can view all tabs at once by clicking on the tab level three dot menu. Notice that the add and edit buttons are in the same place along each tab, making the actions easier to find than ever. Regardless of what page you're on, you will always have access to the left side navigation as well as the global navigation on top. Here on the global navigation bar, you will find the home button. Click the home button to return to the home page from any screen. If you right click the home icon, you can open VSS in another tab or in another window. Next, along the global navigation bar, you will find a question mark icon. This help button can possibly save you a phone call to the help desk by providing useful information based on the page that you're on. The information is dynamic, changing based on what's currently on your screen. For example, when on the check slash EFTs page, you will find questions and answers related to previous payments. 
like how do I save, view, or print a PDF version of a check slash EFT. Another navigational tool that you can find on any screen in VSS is the left side navigation. On this bar, you can find important landing pages like my account, financial inquiries, business opportunities, catalog management, and grant opportunities. Click the three lines at the top of the bar to view all at one time. Now that we've learned about the navigational features, let's look at the checks slash EFTs page to learn a little more about the system. First, run a search by completing any known fields and clicking apply. In the results grid, you will notice that you can export all or selected records by clicking the grid actions button. For additional related pages and actions about a single record, click the three dot menu on the line. There you can find details and a reference page, or you can print to PDF. Just remember, when in doubt, three dot it out. Next, we'll navigate to the Grant Opportunities page to show how we can save searches. You'll notice a similar search widget and page setup across VSS. And below the search, you'll find any recent searches that you've conducted. If you'd like to rerun any of those recent searches, you can do so by simply clicking the tile. You can also save recent searches by pinning them within this Recent Searches box. To do so, simply click the push pin icon. You can see only pinned searches by toggling the pinned option. These searches will remain pinned here the next time you log in or until you unpin them by re-clicking the icon. Next, we'll cover improvements to the system that those doing business with the state will find valuable. Let's use the quick link to navigate to the Business Opportunities page. On the top of this page, you'll find the search widget. Use the filters to narrow your search as much or as little as you'd like. For this example, let's search for results to show me the business opportunities tagged for my commodities. Then click search. Scroll down to view the results in the grid. For grids with many results, you can choose to view more than 20 results at one time. To learn more about a solicitation, click the caret to expand the line for a snapshot, or click the link to review the full solicitation. After reading through the various tabs, you may decide that you want to respond to the solicitation. Read through any instructions given and then select Respond Online. It is now easier than ever to download files and add attachments throughout VSS. Let's take a look at attachment handling using another solicitation response. By clicking Continue, you will advance to the next page of the response. Or, by using the progress bar at the top, you can skip to the Add Attachments page. Notice the new maximum size allowed for each file is 30 megabytes, increased from 6. Here, click the Add Attachments button. In this Attachments window, you can drag and drop files to be uploaded or browse your computer for the files. Once the files are selected, you can change the type of file or add a comment. In this same window, you will be notified of any errors in the upload process. Review the errors, 
and remove files as needed, and then click Upload to add the files. Thank you for watching this sneak peek into Sigma 4 VSS. We hope that you find the new interface and navigational options to be intuitive. We also hope that the quick links, the help button, the ability to save searches, and improvements to attachment handling, among other things, make your work with the state much more efficient and user-friendly. For more information about the Sigma 4 upgrade, visit michigan.gov slash sigma vss. Whether you are an individual payee, a grantee, or a vendor conducting business with the state, you will find informational tutorials and reference guides on this page to help you navigate the new system.